So here we are again, another little devotion for you. I've been reading through Isaiah quite a lot in the last couple of months and I've been reading it from a new translation, the Passion Translation. Uh, but I'm going to read some verses from Isaiah 42 as a bit of an encouragement for you today. And uh, you may or may not know that Isaiah features four servant songs. The most famous is the Suffering Servant. But here in uh, Isaiah 42, it's the first servant song about a faithful servant who brings light to the nations. Each of the servant songs tells something about Jesus, what he's going to be like and why he's going to come. But in these first four verses of Isaiah 42, they're great ministry qualities, life qualities for us today. So let me read them to you. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teachings the islands will put their hope. I want to pick up five quick things there uh, that Isaiah tells us about Jesus that really equally apply to us today. The first one is that he's chosen and anointed by God and none of us can really succeed in the life we've got, in the ministry we've chosen to follow, unless we know that actually we're chosen by God first and we're anointed and empowered by his Holy Spirit. Second thing is, it says, he will bring justice to the nations. He's not just the chosen one that God delights in, he'll bring justice to the nations. And Jesus is committed to reaching out to those who don't yet know him, the unreached. And for all of us living as Christians today, we've got an opportunity and a responsibility to reach out to the unreached, to those who've never heard the name of Jesus and never known the salvation that he can bring. And thirdly, it says here, he will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. Jesus was the godly, manly, superlative example of gentleness and compassion. And if we're going to be chosen by God, if we're going to be committed to reaching out, we need, we're going to need to do so, yes, with strength, but with gentleness and compassion. And fourthly, we read, in faithfulness he will bring forth justice till he establishes justice on earth anybody who follows Jesus is going to be committed to justice and to righteousness and we live in a world that's so unjust and so unrighteous and we need to be shining lights for God's righteousness and justice and finally we read this he will not falter or be discouraged so many times in the life of Jesus he could have been discouraged, he could have ended his ministry, he could have walked away because it was too hard. But rather than being discouraged, he demonstrated unfailing courage. And so in these first four verses of Isaiah 42, the first servant's song, we read these incredible words. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom I delight, I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching the islands will put their hope Words about Jesus, prophetic words about Jesus, but words, qualities that apply to us in ministry today. Knowing that we're chosen and anointed by God and empowered by his Holy Spirit. Committed to reaching the unreached, whether that's down our street or the nations of the world. Being gentle and compassionate in our lifestyle. Committed to justice and righteousness. Not being discouraged, but having the unfailing courage that only the Holy Spirit can give us, that courage that took Christ to the cross and beyond. God bless you. I hope you're encouraged, challenged, invigorated by these words from Isaiah in the first servant song in Isaiah chapter 42. God bless you. Speak soon.